Hey guys, and welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Today we're making turkey, turkey. in the crock pot. We've just gotten it out. I'm going to show you how to do it today. If you're new here, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. Take a moment and hit that subscribe button down below. You don't want to miss anything. We have lots of fun around here. We have farm videos. We have uh, ministry videos, we have family videos, and we have a lot of cooking videos. And pretty soon, like real soon, we're going to have some remodeling videos. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave me a comment in the description below. And be sure to share my videos. Thank you guys. I am so glad you're here. So let's get started making this turkey breast in the crock pot. So guess what? It is so bright outside that I can't find a good spot in my kitchen to <laughs> film. Because, yeah, look, if I turn you this way, woo! If I turn you this way, woo! So, <laughs> I don't know. I want to stand in one particular spot. But, with everything going on in the world today, our Thanksgivings may be a little bit smaller um, ours, I know, is at least probably one short, and, um, and that really has nothing to do with the coronavirus, but anyway, um, I'm going to show you a way to cook turkey, if you don't want to cook the big turkey, um, how you can do that, you can do a turkey breast, and you can do it in a crock pot, and I'm going to show you how you can make it taste just like the turkey you roast in the oven. So, here is my turkey breast. It's Prestige Farm Premium Young Turkey Breast. It is uh, 4.47, four and a half pounds, basically. Um, now, I am still roasting a whole turkey. In fact, oh, I gotta go lay that out. Um, put it in the refrigerator and let it start thawing in the refrigerator so it'll be ready for the brine on Wednesday. Anyway, what I'm going to do with this is I am going to um, use this in my dressing. A lot of times I'll get a rotisserie chicken and use in my dressing, but since I'm showing you this, I'm going to keep it and use it in my dressing, slice up some for sandwiches, nibble on it, we'll eat it. So, I'm going to go over here to the sink because it's really juicy. I'm going to open her over the sink and um, put her on a plate, and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to season her up. Okay, guys. Well, here she is. She's sitting here on my plate, ready to be seasoned and beautified. And I'm going to set her off to the side just for a minute while we get a few things ready. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I have about a cup of hot water here. And I'm going to crumble up a bouillon cube in this. We'll use this later once we put it in the crock pot. I need to get my kitchen scarf and my apron on. Anyway. And I'm going to mix that around a little bit. I may have to stick it in the microwave so it'll dissolve but quicker. But we're just kind of making our chicken broth. Um, I have the box chicken broth, but I want to use it for lots of other things come Thursday and Wednesday and Thursday. So um, I'm gonna use the bouillon cube and some water today. All right, I may have to heat that up. We're gonna let it set for just a minute. I'm gonna get my apron on, my kitchen scarf, and then we'll mix together the seasoning. Okay, guys, we are getting ready. All right. Now, 
let's talk about seasoning. I'm going to use some poultry seasoning, although you don't have to use poultry seasoning. If you have sage, salt, and pepper, that's really all you need. But I'm going to use a little bit of both. I'm going to use a little bit of onion and um, some pepper. And salt, of course. So, let me get... And we may or may not use all of this, so I'm going to put in about um, a tablespoon of salt. We're just going to sprinkle. I'm going to use about a teaspoon, and I'm just eyeballing. Whoops. Yeah, that's good. Of onion powder. Let me go ahead and get the pepper. I'm going to use about half a tablespoon of pepper. I'm going to use a tablespoon of sage. And these are just, I mean, I'm really, I have no recipe for this. I'm just, if I wasn't filming, I would just be dumping in the thing and not really measuring anything. And this is new, so I'll have to open it. Um, and I'll probably use half a tablespoon of the poultry season. Get everything put up. All right, and out of the way. So now I'm just gonna take my fingers and give all this a really good mix. Oops, and I'm spilling it. So if you want to be sure you're reaching the bottom, just kind of. Oh, y'all, that smells so good. It smells like Thanksgiving. Alrighty. Okay. So. We're going to bring our turkey back over here. And I always, even on my big turkeys, I look the skin over just for any, um, you know, feathers they might have missed. Like. There's like a little stem of one. I just be sure that they've gotten everything. And looks pretty good. Looks pretty clean. Looks like it, there's a little piece of bone. So you wanna be sure you look for those. Yeah, she looks good. Looks really good. Okay, so. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a stick of softened butter. And I'm going to lather her good. And I'm just going to kind of rub her down. On all sides top, bottom, and we're going to use this whole stick of butter. I may even stick some up in that cavity when we get ready to, when we get ready to put it in a crock pot. In fact, I'll set that little piece out so we'll remember to set that in her cavity. And I'm just smearing the best I can. It don't always stick, but you're getting some of the the grease to her. And I just pulled off the top part. <laughs> That's okay. And as it melts, that butter will just seep right into her. Okay, guys. Let me go wash my hands. And then we'll come back and we'll season her up. Okay, guys, I looked and it wasn't recording. So I'm not sure what you saw or what you didn't see. But I've sprinkled her good with the seasoning all over inside the cavity. In the bottom of the crock pot, I have placed my broth. I also cut up, quartered an onion. It's in the bottom. And I use the celery ends and tops um, in here because we're just using it for flavor. So I've just put Miss Turkey in here. 
and I don't know why it wasn't recording and I apologize but I did save a little bit of the seasoning for I can use it on my big turkey okay so there's more butter on my plate here so this is a whole stick of butter and there's more seasoning so I'm just whoops I'm just kind of scraping my seasoning butter and I'm just dropping it in there because it's all going to meld together as it cooks. My house is going to smell wonderful. Everybody's going to think they've missed the day. They're going to say, oh no, it's today Thanksgiving. And I'm going to say, no, it's not. But anyway, all right, I'm going to set her on low in the crock pot and I'll see you back when she is done. We're going to let her cook about seven hours, seven to eight hours. Um, and I will bring you back when she is ready. Okay, guys, the turkey is done, but it's not brown. The skin's not brown like it would normally be. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in this pan, and we're going to stick it in the oven on broil real quick. won't take two seconds. I mean, it'll take longer than two seconds, but we're going to do this so Isaac can dig in. Now, what I'm using this for, because I'm going to be just slicing it up, putting it in our dressing, um... I don't need to brown it and even for sandwiches I don't need to brown it but I want to show y'all how it can turn out and how it can be browned and look beautiful just like you were carving a turkey for Thanksgiving so I'm gonna stick it right over here in this pan and we'll be back in just a minute Isaac's dying to get into it he is starving so I want to get this done real quick okay y'all there it is there it is Bryant's gonna carve into it and let us see um, how it tastes. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Turkey in the crock pot. If you have a smaller group of people or if you're going to make it like I am just to have to put in your dressing and then to have big boys like this fix sandwiches. So thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. <laughs> Bye, y'all.